Alfred, I found a mutilated body, but this isn't the one Cash told me about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. 20 years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary, a small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Accardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Alfred. I've discovered another body. Six victims, Master Bruce. When will this nightmare end? Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Cross-reference this with the others. See if it fits. It does indeed, sir. Sending you the information now. The Circus of Strange. Its route recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing.
Get me a list of associated names. The circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham, but the lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. You're done here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Pig, not ready yet. <laughs> She's all unique and wrong. All messed up, inside out. Pig, make her better. Pig, make all of us better. It's over. But Pig can fix you too. Make you perfect. Like the others. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> and what are you? I'm here to stop you. Bad. 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 <laughs> Pig is like clay. Pig is like God. Pig is here to fix us all. It's like they're immune to pain. I need to make sure they stay down.
Where are you taking me? Take go back to his circus. I'm taking you where you won't be able to hurt anyone else. I'll make sure of it. Pig doesn't hurt. Pig heals. Pig fixes. My dollar clones are works of art. Those people are living a fate worse than death. Not death. Pig makes life worth living. And the ones you murdered? Too broken. For pig to make better, too imperfect. They make mother angry. Make pig feel sick. Those things you couldn't change. It's how I identified the bodies. It's how I caught you. It's why you failed. No, not fail. Oh. <laughs> Pig show you, dick. Mm, like to see? You've got problems, Valentine. Out you go, Valentine. Don't, don't lock. Pig away, mother won't be pleased. <laughs> Pig, not good enough. Oh, never good enough. So close until you stopped me. I can do better. <laughs> so much better. It could have been so perfect. Pig on the cross, pig with nail, pig on cross, pig with nail. From what hellish pit did you emerge? <laughs>